Absolutely brilliant. We've got a rugby league legend with us, a great Britain's most capped player, 46 caps for his country, Gary Schofield, OBE. Gary, great to have you here, mate. Uh, first of all, um, I'm going to be totally honest with you now. I, I, I was up from all many times watching you and you did my head in. Why did you score so many tries against Halifax and quite a lot of them lucky tries? Well, I guess to be honest with you, when uh, if we, could, we all can remember the uh, the great from all and, and the atmosphere it was. When you when you looked at them porky dressing rooms and the old dressing rooms, very very small, and uh, you couldn't wait to get out onto the pitch. But also as well, you had to go through the crowd, didn't you? And so yeah. the crowd the, the crowd bared you a little bit, and uh, you know making sure that uh, you know they uh, they tried to put you off the game. So that was that was really quite a bit of motivation yeah. to uh, to get over that whitewash up from all. But uh, I tell you what, it was a great atmosphere. Oh, fantastic. A little bit intimidating. And what about player-wise? Who did you find intimidating when you played against Halifax? Some well, tough players. Well, there were some tough players there. And uh, you can remember that big uh, Ozzy Carty, George, what it, George Robinson, the Australian. Jeff big, Robinson, Jeff, yeah. Jeff yeah. Robinson the, with the big beard. And Paul Dixon at times were intimidating. Oh, yeah, uh, Brian Jumley were intimidating. Yeah, but, yeah. but I think in them days, Halifax, what they were, they were a team, wasn't they? You, you, you just couldn't yeah. pick uh, individuals out. And, uh, you know, the response, what uh, Chris Anderson, got the Australian courts and he played yeah. a standoff. By the way, it must be in the slowest standoff going around, Chris, but uh, he didn't do a bad job organising them uh, both on and off the field. But uh, tremendous success and um, hopefully now the good times are going to come back, not just for Halifax Rubble League, as we know the from all has gone, but let's hope the good times, not the good times, but the great yeah. times and the atmosphere is coming back to from all. That'd be good. And yourself, you've been down to a couple of games lately, Gary, and you seem to enjoy it as well. Well, as I mentioned, uh, the atmosphere at the old uh, the from all. Let's get that back now, but at the share because Halifax is a rugby league town, and as I say, the success, what they're looking to build, not just on the field but off the field too. They've got a great now uh, new bloke who's leading that driving yeah. Tony Abbott. He's got the right people in the right places. And all they need now is success on the field. Because I know myself, if you get the success on the field, people want to watch success. And it's been proven in the past, Halifax yeah. can get them uh, 10,000 crowds. Let's hope so, mate. Anyway, it's fantastic to have you on board. And hopefully you're on the bench against Cass, Boxing Day. You'll be looking forward to that. Well, I'm hoping so. And uh, I tell you what, I still love them interception. I'll be looking to get one and go. Not 80 yards, only five yards. You'll do it for me. All the best to Halifax. Cheers, Gary.